What a perfect day for football we've got here. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Warm welcome to you all. With great anticipation, we're looking forward to the match coming up very shortly. It's Sheffield United against Sheffield United. Yeah, thanks, Martin. I think both teams here are going to be positive. They are set up to attack, so I'm expecting a few goals here today. I don't want to put the mockers on, but I am expecting a few. Guided through. Almost got through, but the keeper picked it up in time. Another turnover in play here with that interception. Good block. Poor shot, really, in the circumstances. For Sheffield United today. Well, it's a variation on a theme, really, isn't it? What we're saying is, instead of a back three, he's going to have a back five, and those uh, wide wing backs, as we would call them, are going to be more defensive. I think he's a bit fearful of the opposition. It does look that way, doesn't it? I know he likes to try and convince us that those full backs are going to be uh, raiding forward, but if they're under the cosh, I think they'll just sit. Needs to say, cool! A really vibrant, venomous volley. Well, the cross was great for him, and it made up his mind, and what a goal! Marvellous goal here. Well, he could hardly miss that from the right wing. That was a perfect delivery. And they got their reward for it. Goal it's Sheffield United in front. Number 16, Oliver Norwood. And there's the interception. John Fleck. Could get the ball into the box now. And it's a shot now! Great goalkeeper, great save. Well, he shouldn't have had a prayer there, but he's so agile, this keeper. Well, when you're winning by a goal, the manager wants to see his team put the game to bed, but they couldn't do it there with that miss. Oh, it's hit the post, it's still alive. Well, when that ball cannoned back off the frame of the goal, I think it gave the trailing team a little bit of encouragement here. Attacking now. That's a good idea with the pass. Really stretched to make the save. Top class. Swung in from the corner. He's gone in with the header. But the ball nowhere near going into the net. I think it's come off the top of his head, that one. <laughs> Referee has blown and he's given the free kick. <laughs> Oliver Norwood. It goes out wide again. It's about decision here. Which player is he going to pass it to? Work on the ball here is good from O'Connell. Norwood. It's a free kick here in a scoring position. There's no doubt about that. Did you see anything cynical in that, Alan? Yeah, he saw the ball and he went for it, but he was just a bit slow and definitely a foul. Clearly a booking, out comes the yellow card. Well, he reached straight for his pocket, he didn't really think about it, but I think that's the good call. Oh, he's so... Decided to take the shot on from the free kick. I think he's trying to catch the keeper out there, who might not have been expected a shot. Norwood. Work on the ball here is good from O'Connell. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Norwood. Now here is a chance for them. Straightforward work for the goalkeeper. Oliver Norwood. Well, that's straightforward for the goalkeeper.
Vega. It's good play, this. The opposition can't get at them when they're keeping the ball. Room for the cross. Corner, Sheffield United. Corner swung in. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. A wonderful piece of defending from this fella. John Fleck. Excellent interception. Referee says play on. Now, it wasn't a good tackle, without any doubt, but the worst thing for supporters when you've got the ball is to hold up the play. Now O'Connell. Norwood. Sander Berger. He's got skill with the ball, backing himself in these circumstances. Blocked well by the defender. No threat now. Oliver Norwood can't keep the ball at the moment. Berger, moving it nicely and productively here. This is how they love to play on the break. It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Oh, listen to the crowd. I think they sense that missed chance by the opposition might just be a turning point for their team. Promising forward play from them again. Spotted that well and intercepted. Berger. Sander Berger. The build-up is patient. Striding forward, purposefully. Well, there's going to be three minutes added on. There will be a minimum of three Basham. minutes of added time. Oliver Norwood. Trying to find the opening, which would be so crucial. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. Well, the more football that I watch, and I've watched plenty, an early goal... The second half is off and underway. And that will be a throw. Oliver Norwood. Berger. Deep defending here, but he's got the ball. Well, that has cost him, but only a corner. Could have been worse. Corner played in. All Peters out, rather, for them. Norwood. 
Berger. Well, he's given the ball away here unnecessarily. And this could bring them level. Well, they have cleared the danger. It was a decent opportunity, I think. Sander Berger. Probing pass. In with a chance. To be. Oh, they're in more trouble here. It's a penalty. Well, it's been an awful start. This match is just moving away from this team. Well, he's just telling off the uh, culprit, explaining to him why he's given the penalty, but he, no sign of a card here. Yeah, one or two of the opposition waving the imaginary cards, which you'd never like to see. He scored from the spot. Slide roll stuff from the spot. Well, he's got a certain technique for these penalties. Goalkeepers find it difficult to cope. Just widen the margin oh, here to 2-0. Oh, Sander Berger. John Fleck. I think that's a decent save from the goalkeeper. Sheffield United get a corner. Corner's taken. Punches it away. John Fleck. The visitors having lots of the ball. No wonder they're winning. Sometimes you can have the ball and not be able to do anything with it, but this side have been quite the opposite so creative and so clinical so far here's a chance oh fantastic goal against opponents they know so well this has been a, a wonderful showing from them great style great skill and great goals this has made a, a really bold statement to their title competitor because they are not going to go away. They are here until the final match, I reckon. Well, just not a firm enough touch to keep that ball out, which had a fair bit of weight on it. Well, here we go again, and they can't wait to get the ball back from the kickoff and try and get another one. Sander Berger. I think he wasn't quite aware of where the goal was because that's well off target. He shanked that dreadfully. And it's O'Connell. Sander Berger. Just a bit lax in possession. Shot on! Well, it is merely a consolation here. Yeah, no wonder he is celebrating. Well, it is the old cliche, Alan, isn't it? That you're most vulnerable when you've just scored, and that's the case here. But well played the opposition to hit back straight away. Yeah, and I think they did catch the opponents flat-footed there. They were still celebrating their goal, and the manager would be furious about that. Just a reminder, 3-1 it is now, the scorer. Could get a goal back here. Goalkeeper can open. Well, I thought it was in, Alan. Off the line. He didn't give up, that's the great thing. He did not give up on it and got back just in time. Could pull one back here. You've got to hand it to them. They still believe, they're still losing, but they're still chasing, and they're getting closer. They certainly didn't rest on their laurels, did they? And sit back after the first goal, straight away, upfield, and there's another one. Well, they're the much better team, and surely they're going to go in and win this match now. Very good game, 3-2.
John Fleck. Intercepted well. That did look a dangerous attack until the interception. Got possession back for his team. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. Oliver Norwood. Well, that looked a decent chance to attack until the player managed to read the pass. Frustrating for them, really. That was the opportunity to play on the break, but it's broken down. That's a free kick awarded here. Basham. Taking on the defenders. Well, that is a free kick. And they've got a chance to really make the most of that decision. Well, he fancies this. He's a single-minded lad. He's going to go for goal. And saved by the goalkeeper. Clasped it to his midriff. And they hold on to this lead. If they do, they'll get the points. But also, and more important, they'll be denying their rival the title. Well, there don't look too many problems out there. They're comfortably ahead, and uh, and I can't see them losing it from here. Referee has blown, and he's given the free kick. Well, he's spoken to the player. Just a little dressing down rather than a booking. Yeah, a bit of sensible man management from that man in black, and uh, you like to see that. Kick. The keeper's given the ball away. Very, very close. Just past the post. Well, I think half the crowd, you know, thought that was going to nestle in the corner of the net there. Still seven minutes left on the clock. Untidy work. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Keep an eye on the watch because. We haven't got that long to go, and the team know that. They can't get too desperate, though. They need to keep some sort of put A chance for the equaliser. Well, that's a great stop, and they still lead. And that just might be the stop that wins his team this match, Martin. Substitution for the visitors. He knows it, the manager. A golden opportunity to get back on level terms. That was really slapped by the striker. And in it goes. It was a promising situation, they could have made more of that. Trying too hard, really, and losing the ball because of it. John Fleck. Set up to play on the break now. Three minutes of added time. Freeman. He could cross it from here. Luke Freeman, probing pass. And the referee blows his whistle, the flag was up for offside. McGoldrick. Not too many more attacks, I don't think. Very late in the game. Referee says, that's that. 